Buying an aircraft carrier in Grand Theft Auto Online, I mean, outside of maybe a mansion or like one of the beach houses on Vespucci Beach, that's probably like the top thing I would like to buy in online. And I do think it would be really cool. And today I'm going to be talking about how Rockstar could ultimately make that happen. So let's start with something that probably has to occur first, and that would most likely be a naval or a sea-based or water-based update. Uh, I think it's pretty clear Rockstar wouldn't just add the aircraft carrier into the game for the sake of adding it. So I feel like number one, that has to happen. And what's the likelihood of that occurring? I'm not sure. We don't know what Rockstar's plans are in the future for Grand Theft Auto Online. But as far as that theme and that DLC working, in online, it absolutely could. Uh, number one, it's something that has not been covered before. You know, there's been a land-based military update. There's been a air-based military update, but there's never been a sea-based military update. Uh, so wouldn't something like that fit really well? Also, for the most part, the aircraft carrier, if Rockstar wanted to do that, is something that's already been in the game. They added it in the original heist update, so it wouldn't actually take a lot of work from them. We know that Rockstar is going to be focusing on RDR2. We know that they have their priorities in sort of a different spot, at least temporarily. So this would be a nice opportunity for them to still add new content into the game, uh, but not doing a ton of work. And what's funny is both heist updates have actually added a ton of naval-based content. I mean, if you think about the Doomsday heist, it added the Stromberg, uh, which of course is like a new submarine car. It added the submarine that Bogdan was on. It also added those underwater mines. So it did add a lot of water-based elements. And think about it, a water-based DLC that features the aircraft carrier would be super cool. So let's say, for example, a water-based or naval DLC is coming into the game. Well, how would it work in online? Uh, I would only assume it would be available on the DockT site. And you know how on the top of the DockT site, it has like the Galaxy Super Yachts? Um, well, maybe that could be replaced with aircraft carrier. Like it could say aircraft carrier, what you want to purchase. It could have images that shuffle back and forth that show you some of the various features. Uh, just like how the uh, yacht does that right now. That could be super cool. We haven't seen a change to this website in years. Or it could work very similarly to the way Warstock Cash and Carry works. Remember when the MOC was the only vehicle of its kind? It was the big one up top. Then the Avenger got added and they split it. Now the Terabyte, Avenger, and MOC, they sort of share that top part. That's something that Rockstar could ultimately do as well. Now, what would I like to see the aircraft carrier do? Well, I think it would be neat for starting up sea-based missions. Uh, number one, I think that would be awesome. So whether they're similar to what was added in gun running, where they take you into sort of your own private lobby, or whether it's something you do in free roam, like sourcing and selling and finding underwater treasure, that would be incredibly cool. The second thing I would like the aircraft carrier to do is to not only be able to store water-based vehicles that we can call in and spawn instantly, like the submarine, even vehicles like the Stromberg, give it another place to be spawned in, but I'd also like to be able to customize these uh, watercrafts. That would be pretty neat as well. Uh, basically, watercrafts are the last remaining type of vehicle, except for like BMX bikes, that have been completely ignored by Rockstar in terms of upgrading and customizing. And I know what you guys are saying right now, you know, what is there to do on the water? Well, what was there to do in the air? And Rockstar still added Smuggler's Run. In fact, I would even argue there's way more opportunities to do fun things out in the water. Whether it's just sailing challenges with your friends, whether it's looking for underwater treasure, uh, whether it's just exploring or finding new things or having boat battles, that would be pretty cool. Now, how could this work logistically? Well, I'm thinking it would work very similar to the way that yachts are right now. So if you own a yacht, it's going to spawn in the session and Rockstar could have a limit. Now this limit would probably be fewer than the yachts because aircraft carriers are much bigger. And I'm not sure if Rockstar would have the size or they would worry about the, the game potentially crashing, but maybe they would allow eight to 10, that's just an example, aircraft carriers in a session. 
And if there were more people in a session that had aircraft carriers, yours wouldn't spawn in. Now, once again, I think this would be absolutely incredible. I think that there's a, a few final frontiers that Rockstar have not explored in online yet. Uh, the first of which would be mansions, which we've touched on plenty. You know, big houses like that would be super cool. And then obviously going out into the water. That's something they've really never done. And again, I feel like that a lot of the assets are already in the game. Like Rockstar could allow us to buy the submarine too. They could get, make upgrades to our yachts. Like imagine the bunker and the hangar customization, being able to do unique versions of that to the aircraft carrier. I mean, that sounds like a really fun update right then and there. Now, getting to the big question, how much would something like this cost? Now, you might look to the yacht prices and say, oh, that's going to be anywhere between, you know, five to eight million dollars. I actually think Rockstar overpriced the yachts, and I think they know it too, because we haven't seen a property be that expensive since the yachts, like not even bunkers, not hangars, not nightclubs. They never got to that level of expensiveness. So I actually think in a weird way, they might be less expensive, you know, only three to $5 million, depending on really all the upgrades you do. So not only do I think it would be feasible for Rockstar, I think it would be a ton of fun and I also think it would be pretty easy for us to enjoy as well. But anyways, that right there is sort of my pitch for what I think it would be like to buy the aircraft carrier in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think it would be so much fun. We need more things to do in the water. Uh, we've seen Rockstar, you know, kind of flirt with that in the past, but never really all that seriously. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let's say that's the next update that's coming out in December. What would you think about that? Would you enjoy an update like that? Would you not because you don't really use boats? Maybe you just don't use boats because there isn't that much of a purpose yet. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.